There was a young woman among us who lived in our peaceful village, but her soul was deeply immersed in the storm of old and unpleasant memories. These stubborn memories constantly assailed her like a persistent echo, consuming our collective thoughts and tormenting our shared mind. Whenever something didn't go as planned, she found herself entangled in the web of these painful recollections. Every mistake, every cursed word, transformed into a repeating nightmare that haunted us. This habit of reliving the past prevented her, and by extension us, from truly living in the present. We couldn't find peace, couldn't harmoniously interact with each other, and our collective performance at work was constantly impaired. Recognizing the agony among us, a wise counselor suggested seeking guidance from a Zen master residing in a serene Buddhist monastery nearby. We firmly believed that the Zen master could offer a solution to the anguish tormenting us due to the unbearable burden of our painful memories. Our collective need to seek guidance and relief became irresistible, for we could no longer bear the weight of our shared existence. This journey in search of understanding and redemption reminds us all of the importance of facing our inner demons, seeking counsel from those who possess the wisdom to guide us, and understanding that even in the shadows of the past, we can find the light of healing and transformation. In search of answers, the decision was made to seek the Zen master whose wisdom had been known for ages. Our hearts were filled with apprehension and hope when we arrived at the tranquil retreat of the Master. With humility, we shared all the dilemmas that had consumed us for so long, the haunting, distressing memories that troubled us every day, our tumultuous emotions, worries and afflictions. The Zen Master, with a serene expression and insightful eyes, listened attentively to every word without interrupting or passing judgment. We felt the weight of our collective words and shared experiences. When our tale reached its end, something in the air seemed to change. With a serene gesture, the master rose from the seat and, without uttering a single word, walked with silent dignity toward the interior of the monastery, disappearing between the wooden walls. We found ourselves disoriented and anxious, unsure of what to do. We remained seated on the ground, with the unspoken words of the Master echoing in our minds. Silence and uncertainty lingered in the atmosphere, and we found ourselves alone with our thoughts, eagerly awaiting the Master's return or an explanation for the mysterious gesture. After a brief period of waiting, the Zen Master returned, carrying a simple play cup filled with water. In this seemingly simple gesture, a profound lesson about the nature of the mind and inner peace was about to be revealed. The anxious and curious among us stood up before the master, our attentive eyes capturing every movement of the sage while maintaining a serene expression. The Zen master presented the cup in an enigmatic yet profoundly meaningful way. Tell me, how much does this cup weigh? We looked at the cup cautiously and replied, we cannot say with precision, but the weight of this cup is very light. The Zen master, maintaining his seriousness, added, My question is, what will happen if I hold this cup like this for a while? We know more aware of the depth of the question, replied, Our hand will start to ache. The Zen master continued with his questions, And what if I hold this cup like this for an hour? We now more consciously understanding the depth of the issue, responded, our hand will begin to hurt. The Zen master proceeded with his inquiries, and if I hold this cup like this for the whole day? Displaying a growing seriousness, we affirmed, our hand will start to hurt a lot. Our muscles will become tense, and even our hand may become numb or we might lose sensation. The Zen master, Satisfied with the understanding we were gaining, concluded, excellent. However, the weight of the cup did not change during this time, did it? We nodded in understanding, realizing that the weight of the cup remained unchanged. 
In this apparent simplicity of the cup, the Zen master imparted a profound lesson about how we collectively carry our emotional burdens and worries. Like the cup that, although light at first, becomes a burden over time, our collective concerns can become heavy if we collectively carry them for too long. The message was clear. We must learn to let go of our collective burdens so they don't overwhelm our collective lives with unnecessary worries. Most of us go through our collective journey without truly discovering who we are, sometimes living lives that are discordant with our collective essence. This lack of collective self-awareness is a path to unhappiness, as we often make collective decisions that take us away from our shared true essence. The secret lies in collectively discovering ourselves, for it's only when we deeply understand who we are as a collective that we can chart, with 100% certainty, the best path to a fulfilling and happy collective life. The Zen master, with unquestionable wisdom, posed a striking question. Then why was there pain in the hand and tension in the muscles? The now enlightened among us promptly replied, because of holding it for too long. The Zen master, with a serene smile, inquired, and what should I do now to rid myself of this pain? Understanding the profound analogy, we replied clearly, put the cup down. The Zen master agreed, and the teachings echoed in our collective minds, remaining in our collective memory. With serene gestures, the master pointed to our collective heart and shared a profound lesson about the weight of problems. He explained that life's problems are similar to the cup he held. If we keep them in our collective mind for a while, everything seems fine. However, if we hold on to them for too long, we collectively suffer. Holding on to these thoughts for an extended period will leave us distressed, stressed, anxious, or even disturb our collective inner peace, making it impossible to accomplish anything. We absorb these words with admiration and understanding, recognizing the profound wisdom of this lesson. The Zen master continued to point at our collective heart, emphasizing the importance of reflecting on past mistakes and incidents, but also the necessity of learning from them and moving forward. Clutching onto the past, just like the cup, will only cause pain in life. The master fixed his gaze on us with serenity and concluded, so start becoming the people you want to be from today, avoiding repeating the same mistakes. Focus on today's actions and let go of worries because worrying only leads to a negative spiral. We are now filled with understanding of impermanence and the power of letting go of the past, respectfully bowed to the Zen master. Just as the cup of water rested on the ground, we collectively decided to leave behind the worries and burdens of the past, allowing ourselves to collectively live a lighter life and fulfill our collective potential completely. Moving towards a brighter and serene future, in life's journey, we encounter obstacles, doubts, and challenges that may weigh us down, like a cup of water held for too long. However, true wisdom lies in recognizing that, just as the Zen master taught us, the ability to release, to let go, is essential in our collective quest for a fulfilling and happy life. Understanding that our collective worries and regrets from the past are like that cup, we can learn to release that burden, look at the present and future clearly and determinedly. It allows us to collectively transform into the people we want to be. Holding on to the past and unnecessary worries only lead us into a spiral of suffering. True wisdom lies in living each moment authentically, accepting that we all make mistakes but also that we have the power to learn from them. It's accepting that change is constant and that by letting go of the weight of the past, we find the freedom to build a brighter and serene future. Our collective lives are like that cup of water, and the weight of the past is merely an illusion we carry. Therefore, let us release the cup, leave the worries behind, and focus on the present. That's how we find true joy and fulfillment, knowing that wisdom lies in our collective choices, 
in our ability to transform and grow, and in our ability to live with courage and serenity. Life is a precious gift given to us collectively, and every moment is a unique opportunity. It's easy to get stuck in the past, in worries, and regrets that we carry as a collective burden. However, the true moral lesson is that to live fully, we must learn to let go, to release. Holding on collectively prevents us from moving forward, from becoming the people we want to be. It's like collectively holding a cup of water for too long, with time it becomes unbeatably heavy. To find true happiness and peace, we need to collectively learn to let go of the past, release unnecessary worries, and embrace the present. Wisdom lies in learning from our collective mistakes, growing with every challenge, and looking to the future with determination and courage. Therefore, the moral lesson is clear. Release the cup of water from the past, and allow ourselves collectively to live lighter, with a mind focused on the present and eyes set on a brighter and serene future.